Hello, everybody. Welcome to Low Down with Liz Glass. Today we have Monica Redden from New Jersey. Welcome, Monica. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, it's a pleasure always with you, Liz. Uh, so, Monica, tell us, tell us about your market. Tell us where you're located. Well, I'm in New Jersey. I'm in Monmouth County, New Jersey. Um, I'm originally from Brooklyn, though, just so you know. So I know how New Yorkers feel about coming to New Jersey. <laughs> um, but I work mainly in Monmouth and Ocean counties. I do touch in um, on Middlesex County as well. Okay, great. So you cover a pretty big market. Yes. All right, great. And knowing people from New York, that is half the battle. Um, yeah, so... You know, people are relocating all the time. People have to have a place to live, whether they're upsizing, downsizing, unfortunate deaths, births, families growing, you know. So uh, we're just trying to put out some um, clarity to people. So many people are afraid to make a move, whether it's to buy or sell because all the uncertainty in the market. It's, and, it has been a crazy year. Right. So trying to help everybody ease their fears a little bit and let them understand that even though the rates have gone up, they're actually back down. Yes, their prices are. are back down and do not wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. So exactly. in any market, the best time to buy is when you can afford it and you find something you love. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about the opportunities that you're seeing in your market. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what, and just to touch on what you had just said as well, is that people need to move no matter when, um, even during the height of the pandemic, we had people moving. So you don't want to be afraid of, oh, should I wait? Because the people who have waited from a year ago, the prices are even higher now. Right. With that said, with interest rates where they are, there's still opportunity here. We have great homes coming on the market. And one of the things that we have seen is a slight shift in the market where we are not in the midst of the crazy buying frenzy, pushing prices really high over ask. So it's becoming, we're shifted a little bit down. So I feel like we are approaching a more, should I say normal market? Or yeah, what we're, we're a using? little bit more balanced, not more like balanced. This. Exactly. And, and, and I think that for the buyers, that is really fabulous because you're not chasing your tail right now. And for the sellers, you're still at an increased value. So you are still seeing the prices that if you're priced right in the, the market, it's still better than they were last year. They are higher than they were last year. So I think it's a nice balance coming on and there's more, again, not that frenzy. It's a more um, that we can negotiate and we're not throwing everything um, to the wall and seeing what's sick. We're, we really can now have a good negotiation with the, the other side. Well, that's, that's the biggest thing that I see is relief for buyers. It really was unfair to buyers what went on this last two years. I had so many buyers that were so discouraged, offer after offer after offer, getting rejected. Um, the prices were astronomical and it couldn't continue that way. But now if they find a home that they love and they get it, put an offer and they have a good chance of getting an accepted offer. And depending on where the house is, they may, may even have a little room to negotiate uh, you know, issues on inspection reports where people were just, like you said, giving right. everything, including the kitchen sink. So exactly, exactly. And quite honestly, I had um, recently had a buyer accepted who was under ask. Oh, that's nice. I'm sure your buyer was thrilled. They were. And, and in that case, the, the, the seller was overpriced and had been sitting on the market. So that's another lesson for sellers, like price it to the market, not to where, you know, you hope it's going to be. Price it to the market. It's always going to adjust itself to where it is supposed to be. Exactly. And at the end of the day, the market dictates, not us, not the sellers, you know. So that's wonderful. So tell me, what, what's your favorite part about, say, Mammoth County? Were there um, any hidden gems that, you know, a lot of people don't know about that you'd like to share? Well, Monmouth County here, we really are the start of the Jersey Shore. I am not far from Red Bank. I am very, um, eight miles, uh, personally, I'm where I live, I am eight miles from Sandy Hook. Um, and so we really are the start of the Jersey Shore. Um, but we also have, there's beautiful horse country around here. Um, and we've got the, the beaches, we've got the restaurants. We're not far from Asbury, where I live, which is fun because it's fabulous restaurants. Um, and the other thing, too, that's really amazing is we are commutable into New York City. Easily. Oh, really? Yes. 
And how long is the commute generally? Well, it really depends on what you are, um, how you're traveling. Um, we can, you know, there's the buses, there's, you know, obviously you could drive your car, there's the buses, there's the trains, and there's three high-speed ferries in my area. So with that, you're probably looking at about a 45-minute commute. Um, if you're going during rush hour on the trains, figure about an hour, um, which quite honestly, that was my commute into Midtown Manhattan when I worked, um, was traveling from Brooklyn into Midtown. That's great. And that's very similar to the commute from Long Island into Manhattan. So exactly. Exactly. You know, yeah. If you're used to the commute, it's really, it's great. And it's a beautiful area. It really is a beautiful area to live in. Well, thank you so much, Monica. So if I have anybody in my market that's looking to go to Jersey, to Monmouth County, even the Jersey Shore, anywhere in that vicinity, I will absolutely recommend them to you. Um, oh, you? We are very, very lucky to be part of this ecosystem together. We have yes. great partners all over the country. And the big thing, like, you know, anytime I have a seller that wants to look outside the country, oh no, it's okay. I have an agent. I found them online. You're taking a chance. Maybe you get lucky and get a great agent, but you're much better off having a referral, a personal referral from an agent here to right. send to you. Cause I know you'll take care of them. I will not think twice about, you know, also sending someone your way because I know who you are. I know how, how you, how you are with your clients. I know the type of agents you are. And that is really the amount of trust that we can have in each other is truly amazing because of the personal connection that we have. So I'm not going to send my clients to someone who I don't trust and you're not going to do the same thing. Right. And, and, and that really is a blessing. Well, I will keep my ears out. If I have anybody coming your way, I will absolutely send them to you. Monica, thank you so much for joining us today. And on a side note, I hope, I hope you heal from your injury. Monica had a oh, rough injury with her dog. Oh, I'm getting rid of that because I'm banging on the <laughs> table. Oops. No, no, I, have, no, yeah. I have a bad habit of... Yeah, I know I do that. I talk with my my hands, but yes, no, I am doing fine. It has not stopped me, and uh, you know, I love that I also have a great sports system behind me, so that when I have not been able to drive, I've had people helping me out. Well, that's wonderful. Well, speedy recovery, Monica. Thank you again for joining us today, Monica Redden with Century Twenty One Thompson and Company in New Jersey. And if you need any information, please reach out to me, and I'll put you in touch with Monica. Monica, have a wonderful day. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. We'll see you soon.